from one trusted storm tracker to another, let's bring in Brandon Clement from Live Storms Media, who joins us now on the phone from Buffalo. Brandon, I know you spend a lot of your time in hot pursuit of severe weather like tornadoes, but from a winter weather standpoint, this is about as severe as it gets. What are you seeing? Yeah, so I've, I've covered quite a few lake, event, lake effect uh, snow events over the year, and this is definitely right up at the top, and it's still not over. Uh, areas around Hamburg today had uh, you know close to four feet, and then uh, Orchard Park is actually pushing up close to five foot, and, and the driving conditions and the gridlock on the roads, it's just everybody's stuck. Nobody can go anywhere. There are people on uh, snowmobiles trying to you know get people out of the traffic jams and, and give them the safety. And uh, coming in tonight, of course, it's cold, and people are running out of gas. So it's just a, a, a real mess. Scary conditions. We actually just previously saw some video that you took as you were driving through Orchard Park. That's the area that now holds the record for the snowiest 24 hours ever in the entire state of New York at 54 inches. So tell us, what was it like driving through that area? How were you adjusting how you drove yourself? As we can see this video, you pan and you can see people off the road. So how were you adjusting out there through the day? Luckily, I'm in, a, I'm in a four by four diesel pickup, so it's it's a big pickup off the ground, uh, four wheel drive, and I've got a lot of experience driving in snow. I do a lot of uh, a lot of snow events, including Lake Effect, but also uh, atmospheric river events in the Sierras, and that's that's the only thing I can really compare this to. Um, you don't see those type of numbers usually on Lake Effect or uh, anywhere other than the Sierras in the, in the continental U.S., and and that's kind of what what we're dealing with here when you start measuring in, in five to six feet range. It's a fantastic comparison. First, I've heard that it is, in a sense, like an atmospheric river being generated by Lake Erie in this sense and producing this mega snow band. We've got reports of snow rates up to about six inches per hour, which has to be toward the high side of what's even conceivably possible. We're watching some of your video here, Brandon, and. I'm surprised to see the amount of semis out on the road. This was an event that we've been talking about for days. It looks like there are a lot of trucks that are stuck and also, of course, plenty of vehicles. What's it been like traveling around a lot of these areas? Have you seen a, a lot of stuck vehicles? Oh, yeah, it's like it's like a maze. Uh, you go down one road and you'll find every time you get to the bottom of a hill, there's a semi or a car stuck. Uh, usually somebody tries to go around and get stuck in the same spot, blocks the road completely. Uh, sometimes there's four or five people that come behind them, then can't back out, and then the traffic backs up. At one point um, in Orchard Park, there was uh, at least a half mile of cars lined up, every lane completely blocked, snow piles can't get in. And when you come to, come and get six, six inches of, uh, of snow in an hour, then the plows, even when, when they can get to it, the, the cars are stuck and they can't get them out. So it's just a, it's just a nightmare, and that nightmare is going to continue through the night because uh, – that the snow is really not letting up. That 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 band is going to stick around, especially on the south side of Buffalo, for for at least a few more hours. A nightmare, to really say the least. And Brandon, as we talk to you, we actually have breaking news to report. Now the updated, unofficial total coming in from Orchard Park now at 59 inches crazy to see that this leveling up the new record so now we have this new record for the entire state of new york 59 inches within the last 24 hours so you touched on this just a little bit ago you mentioned the snow plows they themselves having a tough time keeping up with this rightfully so 59 inches over the last 24 hours is really insanity so how have they been adjusting you know if there's wrecks in the road what have you seen how do they manage to get around and continue to plow some of the snow that continues to fall? Well, they're, they're, they're absolutely doing everything they can. But when you're talking about those snow rates, you just can't keep up. There's just not enough manpower. Buffalo's used to a lot of snow in the Buffalo area. But even, even this area, which is prepared for it, that's just overwhelming amounts of snow. And like I said, when, when cars get stuck, it blocks the plows from getting there, more snow falls, and it just turns into a, a, a disaster. Um, I don't know how they're going to get all these cars cleared. There's not enough tow trucks. Tow trucks can't get there. They're getting stuck. Plows can't get there. They're getting stuck. I saw some big skid steers with, um, you know, 60-inch tires on them, uh, diameter tires on them, and, and they were even getting stuck. So um, it's when you start seeing that, it, it's like, all right, 
better get some sun and some, some warmth because uh, melting the snow is probably be his best bet. Yeah, I know you, you've seen a lot, Brandon. You've covered the entire spectrum of severe weather. And from a winter standpoint, you're saying this is at the top of the list. That certainly makes sense. It's hard to even imagine that we're talking about breaking New York State's all-time 24-hour snow record by a margin of when it's all said and done, probably close to a foot. Tough to even imagine that. We appreciate you talking with us here on Fox Weather. Brandon Clement with Livestorms Media. We'll be checking back in with you. Thank you. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.